Hello everybody, so today you join us on our final, uh, I'm going to say final pit silage of the year. We might have some bales to do yet, it all depends how the next few days work out, what gets done uh, in bales, uh, what gets done in the clamp and what gets done in bales. So we will get going. See what happens. So most of what we're going to do is second cut after hay. There is a little bit of third cut that we bailed the second cut off. So, yes, plenty to be going at. do have a little weather window to go at it in. So today is Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday are good, Friday, yeah, iffy, we'll see. So this was cut yesterday in brilliant sunshine, quite a warm afternoon. Uh, today is dull and cloudy, which is good, because uh, this is permanent pasture, that every time we come out and do anything, I always say it, it can very quickly get too dry. But at the moment, it's looking good. Uh, ben is out here raking somewhere, I can't actually see where he is. Yeah, he's down behind the trees, so we are chasing him. But he'll stay ahead fairly comfortably. Does seem to be yielding fairly well. This did get some fertilizer after the hay. Uh, we have had quite a bit of dry weather on it, um, but as we have had kind of three weeks of decent weather, uh, two weeks, no, two weeks, two three weeks of decent growing weather, uh, it uh, last kind of a few days, few days of August and into September has been pretty good. Just had a quick pit stop, find one of these in the swath. That'd be bad news if that got chopped up in cow at it. So pick your litter up in the countryside. Right, we're very close to fall now. We will just get to the end of this run, and that'll be one and a third of the way, one and one and a third times around this 19 acre field. And we've got a good load on. We're starting to grunt a bit when he's falling. Right. Back to the clump. So we're back on the second load now and we're just coming up to the same corner again where we filled up the first load. Okay, so this swath is the final time around the headland but for the rest of the field there are still two runs to go. But what I'm going to do now is pick up the inside swath all the way around, come back to the other one next load. What that then does, it makes it much easier because this, this field is just a big triangle. So everything, apart from the bottom headland, is coming in at an angle to the headland. So if we take these, take the inside swath off out of the way, it just makes it so much easier coming in and out with the rake. Saves time. You can work uh, the rake rotors independently. It's easy to do. But it takes time, it's just so much. It is easy enough to independently operate the rake, the rake rotors, but if you don't have to, it just saves so much time, you're just in and out. No, don't even have to stop once the headland's gone off out of the way. Yeah. 
yield is does seem to improve and as we get in in away from the hedge uh, there is a path or people walk all the way around the outside of this field and you wouldn't believe the amount of crop you lose just for people walking around the edge straight runs coming in at an angle so this is all going up on top of the first cut original plan was to put second cut up on top of the first cut but in the end we bailed the second cut and, and a lot of that has actually already been fed not all of it, but uh, a good chunk of it has, which saved us opening the clamp too early. So, getting towards the end of the first field now. It's yielding better than I was expecting. I might just see it's filling up quite nicely in there, which is good. same old same problem we always get just got to live with it so we are now into the next day uh, you will have noticed we are about to go mowing um, so what we're going to do we are going to mow the final 10 acres rake it and pick it straight up um, Ben will come along raking in a little while uh, when I've got to go, when, I, when I've got started, um, but he's not mowing today because he's he's got some stuff to sort out back at the yard, uh, and then when he's done that, he's going to come rake in. Shouldn't take too long to, for me to mow this. Then we'll turn around, and pick it up. Uh, the reason for mowing and picking straight up, like we said earlier in the video, is this grass gets dry very quickly, and yesterday it was getting too dry by the time we finished the field. And it gets it's very fluffy, it doesn't roll very nicely. So we want a bit of green on the top to squash it down plenty. So here we go, let's see what we've got here. So I'd say this this field does seem to be a little bit lighter than what we picked up yesterday. So I hope so, it shouldn't take too long to pick it up. Um, just one thing that uh, we have noticed, and I think quite a lot of people, certainly in England, have noticed it. This see, this summer seems to be very, very uh, plagued by ragwort. Uh, we've been pretty much every time we mow anything this summer, we've been pulling ragwort out, even in fields we've never seen it before. Uh, it's round at home in the grazing fields. Uh, I haven't, there's none out here, I haven't seen any yet. Uh, I don't know if Ben found any out in the other one, uh, when he was mowing that. But it does seem to be a big problem this year. I've even seen it in arable fields. Uh, in wheat. Uh, I don't, as far as I know, you don't normally see it in wheat. But uh, I have seen some in a neighbour's wheat this time. survey in the comments and where are you where are you and uh, have you had have you had a lot this year let's, let's put it down there so I'll say we're in Wiltshire and we've had quite a lot so there we go that's the start leave us a comment of where you've got some well there we go I've just found our first ragwort of the day There 
is. Can't see any more, so hopefully that's it. But then I couldn't see him five minutes ago. Right. spread the work over two days but we could have done it in one day um, but our days are short now we've got calves busy calving or the biggest uh, biggest portion of calving is finished but obviously now we've got a lot of calves to feed uh, and everything else just takes time this time of year we don't get so much time in the day for doing stuff so yes and daylight is shorter anyway so yes, could have done it in a day, but I've spread it across two and uh, got the job done in uh, perfect conditions and ahead of probably at least a week of rain. So we ain't going to get any more done next week. Any baling, we've got, we do have some more to bail, but that's not going to get done for the foreseeable future. That thunder is due tomorrow and rain for the rest of all well all of next week as far as we can tell. So there we go. and look at the heat, see how much we've got. More than we were expecting off of these two fields, that's for sure. Which is good. There he is, just rolling, giving it one final roll in, just get the top squash down. There we are, that is quite a heap. So that is it for clamp silage for this year. So I will say thank you very much for watching. 
And we'll see you next time.